This is Ken Pyle, and we're at the uh, CES Eureka Innovation Area, and we're with a very innovative company here, uh, Telebrahma, and we're with Manoj uh, Paneka. And uh, Manoj, uh, tell us a little bit about your identification application. All right. Uh, uh, we at Telebrahma, we started off this particular uh, augmented reality platform uh, called as Point. And it was, we started off in 2010, and then uh, it was, it's works basically on the visual search. Uh, the, you, you need to have a static print or any of your logos. You just have to point on it, and then you get uh, a lot of interactivity. It might be a 3D model, it might be a video, or it can be an interactive thing that goes on with that particular. So it's kind of a next generation QR code, if you will. Uh, exactly. So it was uh, we started off with QR code, and there was a lot of feedbacks on that. QR code links only to a link, or it goes only shows a video so what's next and how can you make it uh, not fear uh, put some black and white thing on your creative that's when we went with this uh, image recognition or a visual search so now the cool thing about this is it's something that's in the market so even though this is tends to be an area where you know you have new stuff and it is obviously new but this is actually market Proven. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we are already uh, we have around 150 impl implementation that are happening month on month uh, in back in India. So uh, there has been more than 300 plus augmentations that has happened so far, and more than 100 brands have used it. Uh, so they have tried and tested this. And these are major brands. And these are major brands. Uh, all the automobile clients like Toyota, Ford, uh, or Hyundai, they have used it, or even our FMCG clients, uh, quite a few. You can name them, and they have used it. And that, yeah. Well, and it's got to be a very challenging market in India with, um, you know, just the technology as far as, you know, I heard that there's Blackberries and other things are still being used uh, for this kind of thing. Exactly. So th it helped us uh, working in uh, India market because that's where you have this 2G, which is quite slow. Uh, we have cracked that particular issue as well because of our technology where it does it works across uh, the 2G network as well and also any handset it might be a feature phone which is Java enabled same Symbian Blackberry or uh, Windows so we cater to all platforms which are available in the market now. So it must be a very lightweight client and then similarly latency challenges yeah, right? It is it is a very lightweight it is less than uh, 3 MB on your phone when it actually uh, download it and also uh, it is like uh, we don't have to be always dependent on your cloud, uh, the, quite a few contents gets cached inside in your app. So next time when you actually try it, it loads pretty faster. So your experience is much seamless. Well, and one of the things that uh, I've been curious about is how do people, how do you get them to recognize that, oh, that logo, I can click on it and get cool things. Yeah, so uh, basically we carry off uh, some kind of an instruction below any augmentation or this, whichever the creative that uh, points have this point creative or the logo there, it indicates that that particular advertisement or creative is augmented. So the user have, just have to have a, a, the point app on their phone and then focus on it. And also uh, the, the brands have been helping us because their creative goes with that particular instruction. And our partnerships with media houses also helps a lot because they help us in promoting it by carrying out some kind of uh, editorial uh, information and also some kind of a strip which indicates the user that it is an augmented ad. Well, and the first applications are in the print media, right? So you're truly uh, augmenting uh, something that's kind of old school. Yeah, so that is what it is. So uh, a static print ad, which is very much uh, uh, very kind of, you can see it's a quite a boring ad that goes in. Uh, something like uh, very static, which doesn't give much of an information. So you have something uh, wherein you already can give more interactivity with this, wherein you can make a 3D model come out, you can have more touch points, and you can have click-to-call function, wherein you, uh, where you are making click for an action. So that's what makes a static print ad more dynamic. And so, uh, any uh, kind of uh, the percentage of people who use this service? All right, so in terms of uh, so far, so we're in more than 23% or 25% have been our repeated customers whenever there is uh, this one. But solely it all depends on the kind of uh, 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 brands that get associated and what is that interest me is what is important and also the kind of interactivity which you give them. Give them. It shouldn't be a simple video focusing or getting some HTML page. Rather, it should be more of an utility or uh, more interactivity that well, and imagine too uh, things that can incent people, whether it be coupons or uh, specials and so forth. Exactly, forward. exactly. It should be a, what is that I am getting out of after right. scanning is the answer that we need to answer, which we have successfully answered so far. So that's the reason we've been doing it so frequently and continuously. And so, uh, you know, you say a quarter of them are 23% or repeat. Uh, is that something that, you know, they repeat several times a month or? 
it would be on the number of campaigns that we would do. Uh, so there has been a, quite a few uh, over the month. There has been a lot of uh, this one repeats, and the users can actually beyond the sprint ad, they can also use it as an utility wherein they can focus to a, a, any area and it indicates what are the point of interest they have. So it need not be that they are always have to have a print campaign with them. So once they have this app, they can use it as an utility. In that case, we have a lot more other uh, like continuous use, usage of this particular app, so which so, is much higher than 23%. So yeah. in one image, you can actually embed several uh, uh, links, if you will. Exactly. So there is, and also, uh, you don't need to have an image of, at the later stage. Uh, once you have this, if, you, if that interests you, you can bookmark that particular uh, interest. And then you can, when you are sitting in a house or something, you can just browse through it, even without having that particular image in your hand. So you can actually, using this app, you can actually do that. Uh, and so I uh, want to ask you a couple other quick questions on uh, where this is going in the future as far as you know bringing it to life in video. All right. So, uh, so we started off with print, uh, like I said, but uh, currently we have just cracked the, the most difficult part, which is like focusing on your television screen. So uh, there would be uh, some kind of a channels who would actually their channel logo or a bug which is there, the user can scan that particular part and then get that information related to the program they are viewing or they can rate the program or also a brand which is associated with the programs can get associated and then whatever the sponsorship they do it on a, a program that they can leverage by doing an inter interactivity using that part this particular solution so the most difficult thing that we have cracked is the the background of the image is always changing it's not never mm -hmm. static so that's what we have cracked here which uh, the our, uh, this one uh, application actually recognizes what the user is pointing at and then throws up the uh, the when engagements related to that. So. And so, uh, you know, from a competitive standpoint, there's, uh, it seems like there's hundreds, maybe not hundreds, but there's a lot of people in this space. Uh, what kind of differentiates you? So uh, there are, uh, there are people who are doing it. Uh, like I said, one is like we are catering to the handsets, which are, uh, which I mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are doing it only for the uh, smartphones, uh, very limited, uh, this one, but we cater to all the handsets. And other is like in terms of the speed of thing, wherein uh, we do a lot of caching inside the app itself, which makes makes the thing very seamless and uh, the other thing is the best thing is like we own this particular whole uh, the uh, the development and we do it in house so we can actually reproduce the uh, engagements pretty fast in in a matter of few minutes like it all hardly takes 15 20 minutes to uh, for us to create an engagement and take the logo live or the content live so that's what these and, are the and so your customers are mostly the agencies and and they yeah, so it, we work with my major agencies and also the brands uh, directly, uh, and also these have been our major clients. And also we work with quite a few uh, publication houses, wherein their editorial contents and also their uh, advert we cater to their advertisers as well. So that's how we're doing. And it sounds like you have some good backing. Uh, yeah, we are being funded. Uh, we have been funded by Inventors and OGIS. Now, uh, last year we got funding from Intel Cap. So we have three uh, investors on board: uh, Inventors, OGIS, and Invent. Uh, sorry, Intel. And so I guess we'll see be seeing more of you here in the United States. Uh, we are. Uh, we are just started off uh, a few months ago, but then I think uh, in uh, with the way we are uh, approaching our clients over here and with the discussion that's out there, I guess we see some uh, tying up with around 10, 15 major brands within a an year and also quite a few publications. So I guess we are here to stay and make it happen. Well, good luck, and we look forward to uh, to to seeing you more often. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Very much. Thank you.